they did. That's what we just saw from Rosalind Sumner's in Paris. Doing uh, four or five shows, we felt, wow, this is really good. And then trying to find the motivation to do the next one, uh, there, it was always different. But I think consistency is very important. And I think Jill does too. So we strive for a certain level of consistency because we want to be known for not only the quality of our skating, but being able to do it time and time again. They are proof that pair skating can be beautiful and dangerous. He once broke his nose with her elbow on a triple twist. He broke her nose with the boot of his skate during a side-by-side -side camel spin. that he is six feet tall, she is five feet tall. And the amazing thing is, Peggy, that when you watch them skate, you really don't notice the disparity in height. But when it comes to some of the throw lifts, I think Jill gets thrown a lot higher than the average pair skater that's maybe the same height as the partner. So she really has to take control of those landings, probably doubly hard to do. Still to come on ABC's Wide World of Sports at the World Challenge of Champions here in Paris, Brian Boitano, Peter Opergaard from Knoxville, Tennessee, Jill Watson from Bloomington, Indiana, with another beautiful performance that has become their signature in pair skating. There's one other difference. Napoleon was a really short guy, and that night in Calgary,